is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Sounds good to me. There's people right now who are like, Phil hasn't addressed the drama about the Kirby rage quit. What drama about the Kirby rage quit? It's fucking Kirby. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Seriously. Who gives a shit about... Kirby in the Forgotten Land. It's a silly game. It's meant for kids. It has extra challenge. That's post-game challenge. It's very challenging. It made me rage. Yes, you can argue it's a rage quit. Who cares? Move on to the next thing. That's, you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing there. But these idiots actually focus so hard on it. Because, again, this is what they do. They got their euphoric feeling. Saying something negative about me for a few days. I didn't, it didn't affect me in the least. I don't pay attention to it. I was back the next day putting out content. I didn't care. We didn't put up with the shit on my streams. We move on. Who cares? And that's the mentality that I have now, you know? Um, none of it matters. Anything they say or do about me does not matter anymore. What sucks is when you have newcomers who are maybe interested in my content, and they skip it or don't give it a chance because of the, that shit. That white noise nonsense outside of me that I can't control, it sucks when I lose opportunities. I lose them all the time. Uh, you know, at one point, people wanted to have me as a sp uh, sponsorship opportunities and things. At one point, people wanted to do collabs with me and things like that. And now it doesn't happen anymore because of those idiots. And they never go away. And there's nothing I can do to do to get rid of that because I'm not making it. I'm not control. You know what I mean? Literally, if I fart on a stream, that becomes drama for them for two days. Oh. Benefit. Oh. And, uh, Anyone else can fart and it's fine. But if Dark Side Phil farts, it's like, oh man, did you hear Dark Side Phil polluted the planet when he farted? Did you hear that the gas, the methane gas ratio of the environment went up? So now we gotta talk about the the, the environmental impact of Dark Side Phil farting on a stream, man. It's bad, and it becomes an expose for two days on the internet. Something stupid that everyone else is who ca who cares if anyone is playing Kirby and Rage quits it? I'm not. I don't care. That was a fun little chill playthrough that I did at night. It filled a need. And I move on to tons of other content. The fact that it changed from being a chill playthrough to something frustrating kind of undermined the point I was playing it for, and that's why I said, fuck this, I'm not going to bother with it anymore. I don't care. It's no big deal. These idiots outside who say it's a big deal, they don't matter. They're no ones. There'll always be no ones. I don't care about what they say. I'm just going to have fun on my streams like I always do. You understand? So how do I keep the positive mindset? It's this simple. I'm still here after 14 years. I still have fans who love what I do. Right? And support who I am as a person and a content creator. And as long as that, that keeps going, why the hell do I care about everything else? I don't. The positive mindset I have is when every day I come here and someone says to me, Phil, what you did today put a smile on my face. What you did today had meaning to me. I really love the conversation we had. I love the gameplay you did today. You know, that's what, I, that's what I love. That's all I care about. I don't give two fucks about what they're saying. Why would I ever care about what they have to say? They're no ones to me. They're dead to me. They're just fucking no-life idiots who feel like they get euphoric when they hate on someone. I, that's the, the worst mindset to have in life, and I'm never going to care about that. Ever again. Really. You know? And it sucks because it can be harmful. I run a business. It can be harmful to the business when they do shit like that. But I realize that the fighting against it is completely worthless. It doesn't do anyone any good, and the goalpost gets moved, and all it does is stops me from making more positive content. So I'm not going to deal with it. Just say, fuck them. Just keep going, man. As long as I make this, that's all that matters. Um, and I don't think that I need to name a successor. What? What? I think that one day I will hang up the mantle. I'll take this hat off for the last time. And I'll say I'm officially retiring from content creation. This is the last time you'll see me wear this hat ever. I'm done. I thank you all for an amazing life journey. You know, being able to do what I love for a living and share that with all of you for so many years. And I'll probably cry live on stream because it'll be so meaningful to me what you guys gave me, the legacy you gave me, and the fun years you gave me as a content creator. And I'll miss it, you know? But that's life. Things all end. All good things come to an end, right? We don't need to have Phil V2. We don't need to have DSP Gaming go on forever. One day, we can say, it's time to go. But luckily, that's not today. Not even close. We got lots of good stuff coming, man. Lots of good stuff coming in the future. And I'm very excited for it, okay? All right, now you made me tear up because I felt very mean. It was a very meaningful moment there. And I'm, now I'm going to call me a sissy. You're going to make fun of me. 
Hold on. Let me start talking about Rage Quitting Kirby again. That'll piss me off again, and then I'll stop being so emotional. There you go. I can immediately stir up crocodile tears on a moment's notice. And every time I've ever cried in a video game playthrough or stream is fake. Everyone knows that. You make a paycheck. You're a, you're a money printing machine, but you're a scumbag. I will never, ever respect someone who literally sat down today and turned on the camera just to fucking have a paycheck, and then they turned it back off. That's, that's beyond fucked to me, you know? Have some dignity, have some fucking respect, have, have some kind of credence in what you do. And, it, you know, to some extent, okay, banned, 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 gone, forever. To some extent, just so you guys know, all right, this is what really irked me about the early days of YouTube. Because when I got into gaming on YouTube back in the day, alright, basically, I loved games. It was my passion, my hobby for my, my life. And for two and a half years, I put out videos on YouTube and I never monetized a single thing. I didn't take any paid product placements or nothing. It wasn't until I lost my office job that I made it my job and I monetized my videos. I just want to say thanks a lot to everyone. Um, I hope to entertain you in the future. Please go to my partner channel, The King of Hate HD, and click on the ads that show up on the videos there because hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, that actually starts giving me some, some money back for what I'm doing. I mean, it's not cheap to do what I'm doing. I bought a lot of games, a lot of equipment, and now I have my own condo, which is basically my studio, to do whatever the hell I want. So, you know, anything that you can give back is much appreciated. I also do have the PayPal donation on the left-hand side of my Dark Side Phil channel. It explains how to go to PayPal and what, uh, you know, email address to send a donation to, darksidephil at hotmail.com. Uh, I've gotten many, many donations, and as I said before, if you send me a donation of, you know, 10, 15, 20 dollars or more, I'll mention your name in a video because I do appreciate that, so, thanks a lot. I got pro like, completely exposed. All of a sudden, in 2011, when me and a few other content creators started to monetize our gameplay videos, you all of a sudden had all these people who never put out gaming content before who jumped into the space. All right? The one that notably I criticized back in the day was Toby Turner. He made zero gameplay content. Zero. Until he could monetize it. And then immediately, he jumped into the space only to make money doing it. It was the only reason he ever did it. And he got giant sponsorships. He was fucking advertising Madden. What the fuck does Toby Turner have to do with football? Nothing. But these idiots paid him money to advertise games. Okay? That is a grade A example of the person who I don't respect because you didn't even care about video games until you could make a living doing it. And then all of a sudden, 50% of your content is video game content. Like, get the fuck out of my face. You are uh, you're just incredible. The dishonesty, the disrespect, and the fucked up, fucked up mindset of people like that, you know? And he's not the only one. But if I mention other people, all of a sudden people will try to get me in trouble for it. Because there's quite a few people who back in the day, all of a sudden became gamers overnight when they could make a living doing it. That's like me, right? That's like me. Bree! Tomorrow, I am doing DSP React. Yes, a series where I watch content and react to it. You guys wanted me to do this for an insane amount of time, and I kept resisting. But you kind of twisted my arm this month. I wanted to do this with a video about me, and you guys said, no, it would be more interesting with a video about somebody else. And I said, well... I guess we're going to give it a shot, all right? I'm against the whole philosophy of React videos. I think React videos are one of the lowest forms of content creation. They take little to zero effort. You can literally do no prep at all, play a clip and just react to it, and apparently, you know, get tons of views and money because people are very, very gullible and think that this is quality content. It is not. It is the ultimate fluff piece of the internet. It's junk. Um, I don't like to make junk. I like to make what I feel is viable entertainment and or meaningful content. And I don't feel that that would be meaningful content. And that's why I don't make it. You're right. I might make some extra money doing it. I don't care. So there you go. I'll give it a shot. Let's see how it works out. Tomorrow it is DSP Reacts, Down the Rabbit Hole, Wings of Redemption. So I think this is going to be exciting and interesting because I'm finally going to get some understanding, I feel. About a guy who you guys reference all the time on my streams. You reference the memes, the mannerisms, the sayings, the things this guy said. The amount of times you guys said, look here, look, listen, chicken tendies, Wendy's chili, and a million other fucking things that I don't understand. 
And hopefully after watching this tomorrow, I'll understand it. I hope, okay? You are going to be interacting with me constantly about this stuff. And so it's going to not be just me just watching, me just watching, me just watching. So likely, a two-hour video will be longer than a stream. And I'm thinking we may have to do multiple streams to even get through it, depending. I don't know. I haven't watched the video in full. I've watched, like, snippets of it to see exactly what it was or whatever. And actually, tonight, I'm going to set this up fully so it works for tomorrow. I've already got the app installed and everything on my Xbox Series X. I just got to make sure that it's going to play and work easily for the stream tomorrow. But, uh, <clears throat> this should be interesting, to say the least, all right? Exactly. Someone just said, wings, wings, wings. I don't want to be Mr. Wings. Why does everyone bring up fucking wings on my stream? I don't, I don't care about this fucking guy. I don't want to talk about him all day. So, enough is enough. All right, everyone... Mods, ban anyone talking about Wings of Redemption right now in the stream chat. Just blanket ban against anyone who mentions the name Wings is an instant ban permanently from my channel. If we get good engagement on the stream and the videos on YouTube, and if we get support for it. Meaning, if I'm taking a giant stream away from my gameplay, will it be equivalent to at least as good as if I had done gameplay? You see what I'm saying? If all those factors happen, then there's no reason why I wouldn't consider doing this kind of content moving forward in the future. But I need... To know that it's going to work. This is both my hobby as well as my job. I need to make sure that what I'm doing is meaningful content to people on the internet that they want and they're going to support. You understand? <clears throat> so, let's see how it goes tomorrow. I hope it goes well. If it doesn't, then we don't have to do it ever again. It's kind of an experiment. It's kind of an interesting scenario. Will it go well? Will it not go well? Will people like it? Will they not? How will it go? Okay. Uh, Zoya did a super chat and said, I'm so excited to see the pivot into drama content. Now, keep in mind something, all right? I, I, I'm going to clarify something here for all of you, okay? I will. I'm going to clarify something for all of you, okay? I am a gamer. I want to be a gamer for as long as I possibly can. We got to be realistic here. I'm 40 years old now. I can't do it forever, okay? So that being said, um... I am going to have to branch out to do other kinds of content at some point, all right? And of course, you could always think, well, what can you do? You can react to current events and news. You can talk about politics and drama and all this shit, all right? Basically, tomorrow is an experiment in something new. This is not necessarily something that I'm telling you guys I want to make any kind of a major commitment to. It's a pure on experiment. Let's see how it goes. Will people actually come and attend? Will people watch and engage the content? both on demand and here live? Will they support the content? Or is it going to be a situation where it's a bunch of troll assholes and no one wants to support shit because they're only here to troll? See what I mean? That's what I, I want to see. This is a very interesting experiment to be doing right now and to just test the waters. I want to make a ginormous amount of money for no effort. Gang, gang, gang. To me, $1.50 and says, why don't you become a boxer like the Paul brothers? A lot of people would pay to see you fight. You did say you could kick Tyson's legs out and you would slap a 12-year-old girl so you'd be a force to be reckoned with. Banned. Banned, 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 banned. Gone. Forever. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant, fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. Is the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>